Welcome to Truths, Proofs, and Firewater Reviews. I'm your host, Lindsay, and this is John, risking his liver to discover new whiskeys. Fresh crack actual Friday. I'm not talking I just took a shower, because I did, and that's a fresh crack too. Though it wasn't almost fresh, because I just went out to check the smoker, because I'm smoking a brisket right now, and there's a skunk about 15 feet away. You weren't going to be fresh for long. <laughs> no. Keep it up. He didn't even mind me. They're blind. He didn't even see you. Skunks are blind. Or majority of the way. They have very poor vision. Probably because they have to smell themselves. It probably right. burns their eyeballs out. Retinas. You whatever. having trouble with that plastic there? Yes. Yes, this I This isn't trying. ASMR. You're right next to the microphone. Well, I'm sorry. Well, we're excited. You'll pick that up later. I want to be there for a while. <laughs> All right. So, Fresh Crack Friday is going to be Jefferson's Ocean Rye. This is Voyage 26. Yes. This one is a little interesting, and you surprised me with it. Oh. Mm, kind of a weird cork pop. Oh. Give that a whiff. So, I heard this is double barreled Canadian whiskey. It is Canadian from rye. Undisclosed Canadian distilleries um they did not specify which ones mm. um and it is double barreled it is in number three char oak as well as toasted oak as well as sitting on the bow of the ship yep um i keep telling john to put a cool picture because there's a really cool one off yeah. of their website you keep telling me i keep never doing i yeah. don't forget i just don't do it. That's cool. That's a lot um, of work. <laughs> so this one was kind of weird. Um, in case you guys don't know, John and I are kind of ocean nerds. We really, really like Jefferson's Ocean. So we know a lot about it. But this little tag that comes on the bottle tells you all about where it went and how um, its travels went. So how much sloshing was going on. And this one was a little bit different. And they were a little worried about this batch because it went out on the ship in hurricane season so there was quite a few storms brewing around its travel path however none of them really escalated in the middle of that process um, but it did hit some pretty turbulent weather and then it did hit some pretty calm weather so this one they say is a little bit on the unique side it's a little different so I'm kind of intrigued by I mean, all of them are intriguing to me. I but guess you didn't need to look up anything because it's all right here it's on the tag. It's literally all right there. Jefferson's Ocean Rye is rye whiskey aged first in number three char barrels, then double barrel split between three char and toasted barrels. Ocean Rye, I can't talk today, was then hyper aged at sea. It was hurricane season as Ocean Voyage 26 left the port of Savannah headed for Manzanillo and the Panama Canal. While the number of named storms that developed in the Atlantic Basin was above normal, fewer than expected attained hurricane status. Seas were slight and the weather was clear to and through the canal. 26 was off to a quiet start due to a slight weakening of La Nina in the tropical Pacific and warmer than normal surface temperatures in parts of the tropical Atlantic. It was summer above the equator, but that would change below the equator. En route to New Zealand, en route, en route, surface temperatures dropped significantly in the South Pacific Basin. Subsurface temperatures have been below average, supporting the cooling of the water at the surface. Relatively weak easterly winds were overpowered by upper-level westerlies, resulting in wind shear that dramatically churned the seas as 26 pushed through the Auckland on the Brisbane, onto the Brisbane. Coastal waters... Off the lee side of, it depends if you're from there, I think they say mm -hmm. Brisbane, I don't know. Okay. Australia went calm until rounding the southern tip of the continent. Melbourne, I think that's how they say, I, I am the worst Australian accent. Rough seas around Melbourne until crossing back above the equator north of New Guinea. Summer weather had returned. Temperatures were again in the mid to upper 80s and the seas flattened to Singapore, Korea, and Japan. All storm activity was concentrated off Central America where multiple tropical cyclones were blowing simultaneously. By the time 26 reached the area, all the storms had blown themselves out in the Pacific. And the passage back through the canal and home to Savannah was smooth with barely a ripple upon the sea. The constant motion and dramatic fluctuations in the air car caramelized the sugars in the wood and the salt air permeates the barrels. The final result, rye whiskey that is darker, richer, and more caramelized. It is then non-shell filtered, allowing for even fuller flavor profile. Profile. Proof. Sounds like a good one. Bringing you a rye like no other. Please set responsibly. Don't tell me what to do. That went through a lot, and I feel like that was on a ship longer than the rest of them. Maybe. Yeah. 
It is 96 proof. They usually do 90. It's good. They did a lot of work for this batch. So this is very caramely, very sweet. Still has that brine to it, which is one of my favorite characteristics of Ocean. I love that salty, caramely, just, it makes my mouth water when I smell it. Wonder how high pitched I'd get if I fast forward through me telling all of them stories. I would love because literally the 30 seconds it took me, you just for like three minutes, but it's fine. It's very nice of you, honey, to give them I all the information. Yeah. Mm, that's to be determined. I've been up since 6 30. I don't even want to talk it's about it. I've been up since 4. 10 or 11 Keep 30, moving. maybe 12. It's like 11 30. We're working on it. Yeah. Anyway. That, that is very really good. Has that briny caramel, but it has a really nice oak to it. Yeah. It's not like it a normal ocean, well that's aged. for sure. But it's it's got like this there's a characteristic of it that I cannot pinpoint. That's really, really pleasant. And Wow. <laughs> so that's kind of my reaction to it, is it's that's salty. Not salty, that's salt salted. Zing. Salted. No, it's like I don't a, even it's know. like a lightly salted. It's like a gardetto. It's got the spice of the rye. It's got the breadiness of a rye. It's got the saltiness of maybe the mix. Yeah. It's got the sweetness in there. That's really sweet for being a rye whiskey. I was kind of thrown back by that too. Or that had to have come from the barrel being at sea. Something. Heat. The past two batches I've had there. from them have been saltier than the rest that yeah. I've had. Maybe the sea's just a little salty. Why is it salty? Because keep putting trash in it. No, because the rocks and minerals keep doing something. I didn't listen in science class very good. Mm hmm. I don't get that. They say it's salty because a rock's breaking down. Have you ever licked a rock? They're not that salty. But they're made of minerals. Not salt minerals. Well, you know, there's salt in the minerals they're made of. I don't know, John. I'm not an oceanographer, ocean person. What are mm. those people called? I don't even know. I'm not a geologist. I don't know. That about tastes any warmer of that. than 96 proof. I don't usually say something's warmer than what it is, but that's got some spice in there. I feel like. I don't know, like that's got... I get a little bit of a, like a black licorice note, which I'm enjoying I immensely. I was going to say like a menthol-y, but then it turned licorice on me too. Very light, not like a no. jelly bean. This, that's maybe this reminds me a black of. red vine, black that vine. The end of that reminds me of um, like Swedish licorice. It's the weirdest thing you'll ever have. It's like salty, super intense anise I flavoring. I, don't, I disagree with that. I have you ever had intense. European? Like, yeah, I don't like it. It's weird. I love black licorice. I don't like it. But theirs that. is different. I don't know what it is. Ours is probably chemically made. I don't know because America has a great way of doing that. I but can like, see like anise candies. I also get like a light root beer type of note on this. Yeah, but I feel like we get that when we get anise. We get Did they the... give any tasting notes? I always have trouble when I'm not blinding because I know what it is. Um, Y'all know we use Breaking Bourbon for pretty much everything as long as they have already done it, which most of the time they have. So coming from Breaking Bourbon, the whiskey springs to life on the palate with a seasoned oak, rye spice, and a touch of ginger up front. A pretzel bun base forms behind the initial flavors, grounding the oak and spice notes. Toasted marshmallows follow encapsulated by warm caramel. The combination makes it easy for sipping experience that one doesn't scream rye whiskey, instead drinking closer to a bourbon. It's a very pleasing combination of flavors and delivered with a very satisfying level of intensity. I don't know if I agree with all their notes. I definitely I say it drinks more like a bourbon. I agree. Uh, the caramel and the ginger, that kind of... Ginger maybe, might be... Okay, I see the ginger. Maybe. Like a, a candy ginger? Not Me like too. a spice ginger. Yeah, not like, not like not hot ginger. ginger root. Or even like a pickled ginger, like a sweet 
I yeah. don't know. I'm saying candied ginger. I've never had candied ginger. But it's I actually like pretty good. ginger with my sushi, so. Ugh. Stop. I hate sushi. I know. Tastes like nothing. I like Yum. flavor. Cut your taste buds are dead. No, yours are. Uh uh. Mm. Probably. Too much hot sauce. No. Anyway, moving on. Hot sauce. Cholula or Tapatio? That's our question in the middle of the video today. How or Texas Pete. I, I do like Texas Pete. I know. But Cholula is my number one hot Cholula sauce is... of all time. I'm pretty finicky, but if I'm going mm. for a hot sauce, it's going to be Cholula. Are you just going to drink all my whiskey? That one is hard to sip responsibly. Yeah, that one's going to probably go pretty fast. Must be 21 to purchase. What if you're in, like, Amsterdam? Well, then they probably have a different label. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Anyway. There's a government warning on here. They have to put a government warning on everything, Jen. There should be a government warning on me. Well, I'll buy you a t-shirt. Hey. Ew. <laughs> All right. So, Fresh Crack Friday. I am definitely happy. I'm pretty sure John just made me open this because he wants to drink it. Yep. So, there's that. But uh, maybe this will go in the flask for the wedding. A hey. Be a little sneaky Ooh. sipper. It's the shape of a flask. Just put it in my back pocket. It ain't gonna fit, honey. I'll make it fit. You know, Ashley bought me a garter that has a pocket in it. Maybe I'll just fit put in it there. in my fresh crack. Anyway, definitely 10 out of 10 would recommend. If Is you it want. worth 80 bucks? Always. If this went up I to like know. 100, I would love, love, love if this was like $60. I would, I would buy it all day long. If this was 80 bucks, but cast drink. Yeah. I think that's a price for a cast drink. They do go yeah. through a lot. I would pay a hundred bucks if I did it in a cast drink though. Yeah. So hoping to see that soon. But we're rambling. We'll see. I'm just excited because Ocean's really diversifying. I mean, with their weeded and cast they've been drink, doing rye, their cast do strength and now pulling us stops out you on a rye. would really be cool? A rum. I mean, don't tempt them. Maybe they'll get there. Who knows? Trey Zeller, he's innovative. Think of that salty rum. Yeah, that'd mm. be great. Salty Salt Barbados sugar. rum. Yeah. I don't know, Maybe but I don't Guyanese. know if it'd be the same salty because of Guyanese the heat. Rum. It's not all hot. Where yeah, but it's soaking up that. Yeah. I don't know. Hmm. All right, Trey Zeller, you I got heard it here ideas. first. Let's roll with a rum. There you have it. That was rude. So that wraps up this review. Leave a comment if you have tried this whiskey and let us know what you thought. Please like and share us to social media, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to leave a suggestion for our next review. Thanks for watching.